Okay, welcome back to the 2016 SUNYAC Women's Tennis Championship. Tom DiCamillo here, along with Chloe Colin, Cohen and Leanne Hofstad. I should have memorized that up front, right? I dropped the wrong piece of paper. But anyway, uh, ladies, you had you had a terrific season. I mean, Fredonia Women's Tennis has really come a long way in a short period of time. And uh, talk, before we get into this match, talking about this match, talk about your season overall and sort of the growth of the program in the last few years. You can go first. You can go first. Okay. Well, it, we've done really well this season, and it feels so good like to finish off so strong. And we've been working so hard with training off during the off season, which is sort of a new thing for us, and it feels really good. Uh, Chloe? Well, I just wanted to say that we've become such a family. We've, I think the closest of our team really impacts how we play, especially in doubles. And I think, like Leanne said, our off-season, we have a conditioning coach. We've been, we hit, we work out. So I think that plays a lot into how we do during the season. Now, Chloe, you're from Long Island, correct? Yes. So how did you end up at Fredonia? Uh, it's about as far away as you can get. That's a good question. Um, when I did the SUNY tour when I was a senior in college, and Fredonia stuck out to me. I love the atmosphere. I love the campus. And I love that it is... It's small enough to where you know faces, but big enough where I'm still meeting new people still today. And then you're from the Syracuse area, Liverpool, yes. correct? How did you end up at Fredonia? Well, I actually toured so many colleges, it was crazy. But <laughs> Fredonia was just, it was such a beautiful campus, and um, I actually did an overnight stay with a current student, and she showed me around, and I just, I fell in love. So let's talk a little bit about the match today. Um, 5 to the final, you guys are down 2 to 1 after the doubles. Mm -hmm. um, how much pressure is there when you, when you fall behind in the doubles and you're in a format where it's a race to 5 as opposed to a regular season where everybody's playing out? To be honest, my strategy, I don't even pay attention to the score. I just focus on every point that during that game. So you don't peek at the other scores when you're playing? I do. I like to see how all my teammates okay, doing, who needs encouragement, but my main focus is, alright, just get the next point. Yeah, like you, you really can't let the score get into your head. Like you have to just go one point at a time, and that's the best way to do it. Is there a big difference between playing indoor and outdoor? Oh, absolutely. So what are some of the differences? Well, outdoor, I think we tend to hit very high because we think it's going to drop. I know we did a drill before SUNYAC that we actually cut our court, the, the lines. We made it uh, smaller, so we're used to playing indoors that way. When we hit, we're not hitting as hard. We're hitting it short to make sure it definitely goes in. Well, for me, it's the lighting. Like, I feel like it definitely messes with your depth perception, so you have to be careful with that. But once you adjust, it's okay. It's funny because that has come up several times from players, is that is the lighting. And very different from playing outside even in the sun. And, and they had a struggle. The other thing they talked about was the green on green. With yes. the ball, the court, and the backdrop. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. Is it just Does it make you have to react quicker because you don't pick it up right away? Yeah, it's it's almost like you, you your eyes just kind of have to adjust to it. it it's, I know. Thank God they have a thick uh, service line because it is hard. Sometimes some of the calls are very hard when between the green and the light, and you're going so fast. So I know sometimes I have to double check myself to make sure where I am in the court. The other the other differences some of the athletes have talked about was having the screens on the side, the mesh. That and I don't know if it affects you, but that came up a lot because most of the time it's open next to you. Yes. The the screens definitely um, mess with me sometimes. Like it's <laughs> Why? running. Well, it's you have so much less space. Like when you're outside, there's so much room between the courts, and here you don't. You really don't have a lot of space, so you have to make it work. They talk about having the racket. Sometimes yeah. the fear of catching that that yeah. mesh with. More like running into it. <laughs> the other thing we heard a lot of was the ceiling. That while you try not to do it high outside, sometimes with the wind. Yeah. But here, we notice a lot of times that uh, balls were getting to the ceiling. Do you have to change your game a little bit, or being at least aware of that? I'd be aware. I think change your game, definitely try not to hit. I know indoors, a lot of the times, the strategy is to lob the ball, because it's, e like you said, it's harder to back up and get the room to hit it. So that's definitely, you have to be aware of it. I mean, it's definitely, if you can nail it, get it. That could be a great way to win the point. How about the surface? Is the difference between outdoor and indoor surfaces in this, or is it pretty, the ball come at you pretty much the same? Not so much. I think mean, it's the win of, uh, taking out the wind aspect of it, I think the surf is fine. You like indoor or outdoor better? I love the indoor just because I love the sound the ball makes. It keeps me focused. <laughs> I love the indoor courts. 
I ask that question because we get different re different responses from different players. Some like it, some hate the indoor; they rather play outdoor. I'm I'm team outdoor. <laughs> there you go, right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just the lighting. It I just like natural lighting, I guess. <laughs> Well, congratulations to both of you. Big win today. Uh, Chloe Cohen and Leanne Hofstedt. Leanne here from my far left. Great season for, for Doan. You really have come a long way within the conference. It's my third year, and I've watched the program go, and, and just did a terrific job. We're going to bring in Haley and your coach, Greg, here in a few minutes.